Hi there, welcome to this series of videos on Eclipse tutorials. These are tutorials for beginners. Um, there are a varied range of topics that we cover as part of these tutorials. Um, this is a video series of about 12 videos where we talk about various features in Eclipse starting with your simple Java program. So starting with how you can create a very very simple Java program, how you can create a hello world program. Then we would move on to look at how you can edit a Java class. I mean what are the important things you need to know to be able to edit a Java class effectively in Eclipse. Then we would look at how to debug a Java program, what are breakpoints, how can you use breakpoints in debugging a Java program and also we would look at perspectives and views. Views and perspectives are really important concepts in Eclipse. We'll look at them in detail so that you'd understand how to make the best use of views and best use of best best use of perspectives. Then we would look at how to write a JUnit test. If you are in a project which uses test driven development, I think this might be a very important thing to look at. If not, probably you can then give it a skip. The other things which you'll be look at, the other set of sequence of videos which you'll be looking at are how you can improve your productivity in using Eclipse. You can do a single thing in a multiple ways in Eclipse and Eclipse offers a lot of keyboard shortcuts to be able to do things very quickly. So you can see things like how to format a source code, how to use a feature called code templates, uh, what are the different keyboard shortcuts which are present in Eclipse. Also things like refactoring, I mean how do you extract a method very quickly, how do you extract a local variable very quickly. Uh, the other things you can look at are save actions. Every time you do a save, Eclipse can do a few things for you automatically. So we will look at what are those in that video. And the other thing which we will be looking at is how you can get Eclipse to generate source. So if you want to get the Eclipse to generate getters and setters, if you want Eclipse to generate a two string method, generate equals method, you can see how to do that. If you are a beginner, and probably you would not be able to understand a few of the videos which we discussed at the end. However, you can start off with the initial videos and over a period of time, you'd be able to understand probably most of the videos. And if you are an intermediate Java learner, you already have ex experience using uh, Java and Eclipse, then probably the last set of videos would be very useful for you to uh, get more productive at using Eclipse. Okay, there you go. Those are the different things that we would learn as part of this series. Welcome Bolt. This video is part of a series of videos discussing various features in Eclipse, different shortcuts and also tips to improve your productivity. If you like this video, show it by clicking like or commenting or sharing this video. We are creating more videos on varied range of topics as we speak. Subscribe to stay updated. Thanks for watching. Until next time. Bye.